Okay, let me check in here. Wow, well, there's a sea of crises coming up. Oh, that big one is a sea of crises over there. We are now uh, the, seeing the sea of crises coming over the horizon. What's near that crater right between us and it? Okay, I'll get it for you right now. That's uh. Condorcet crater. Condorcet? Uh, let me see, just to make sure. Are we under a sea right now? It's my sea. Yeah. So that's Condorcet crater. Condorcet. Uh, we believe the crater, the large uh, dark crater between uh, the spacecraft and the Sea of Crises is uh, Condorcet crater. The Sea of Crises is amazingly smooth. Uh, as far as the horizon, past this uh, rather rough mountainous region in front of the spacecraft. How are you doing? Try it on this window. Yeah, that'll be better. I can go switch windows. Okay, that's a simple lock situation. It's still on, Bill? Yes. Be careful when you grab that handle because apparently you can turn it off. That's how that is. Yeah. How's that look now, Ken? I can't see where you are, Frank. I wonder what that little shell. Okay, what is the problem here? Uh, let's see. Okay. I can't pitch up too much. Can you, can you roll? Don't pitch up, just roll. Okay. You can roll. Uh, Right, roll right, and uh, you can yaw, yaw left, get your weight gimbal lock a little bit. Roll right, and, and yaw left. Okay, so I'll do it. Apollo 8, you tell us which window you're looking up, and there's a large crater that looks like it's a big tilt, but not on the upper right hand corner around the middle. We're going to lose it if you don't move over. Roger, we're just about to lose a lock here, that's why we're uh, slowing up a little bit. Well, right. We see the Sea of Crises in front of us now, and we're looking at the uh, left-hand rendezvous window. That might be uh, Proviscus. What's the name of the crater right out the Sea of Crises? That's probably the one they're talking about. Picard is right out there on the right-hand, the left-hand yeah. side of it. How, we, uh, how are we going to keep lock now, Bill? Okay, uh, keep, the thing to do is to, uh, is to roll right. It's the best thing to do. Okay, I'm rolling right. I've got... Uh, I mean, right well, we're, all right. we're not in limit, it's their problem. Oh. Their problem? Tell them that's a Picard. Uh, yes, and now you're reading it now. Yeah. Uh, the crater oh. you see uh, on the horizon in the Sea of Crates. How are you reading it, Houston? Uh, Roger, we're getting a lot of static. Uh, the Sea of Crises is in front of us on the horizon, and the dark crater Picard can be seen uh, in the middle. We're now approaching the uh, moon's sunrise, or the spacecraft sunset. This is an area that the sun has just recently come up on the moon. What's this, uh, what, what sea are we over now, Jim? Uh, this is part of the don't, of the... Don't, you better, you better yaw a little bit to, to the left. You gotta get the wind, the sun on Frank's window now. Yeah, yaw left. Yeah. Are we still roll? See the Mari we're over now has a model look yeah. about it. Sea of Fertility. Uh, we're very heavily cratered, so it must be uh, relatively new. We're over the Sea of Fertility. This is the uh, Sea of Fertility, and we're coming up on a large uh, crater, the delta rim variety. It has a strange uh, circular crack pattern around the middle of it. 
Bob, how many miles across is that crater? Uh, oh, that, uh, you look at a Tarantrius? Yeah. Tar Tarantrius. Probably. How many, uh, yeah, how many, just give me a, a guess. 20 uh, miles? 30 uh, miles? Must be 30 or 40 miles. Crater that you're seeing now is about uh, 30 or 40 miles across. You better, uh, better roll left, you know. Roll left? Yeah. Boy, y'all left, too. I see the air first and our back down. Okay, roll left. How's your picture quality, Houston? There's an interesting uh, river oh, directly in front of the uh, spacecraft now. Uh, running along the edge of a uh, small mountain. Uh, rather sinuous shape with uh, right angle turns. What, what, uh, keep rolling, keep rolling, uh, you're left. Roll, rolling left, Jim. Roll left, okay. That's good, going back. This area just to the west of the Sea of Crisis is called the Martian Sleep. And to the west of that is the Sea of Tranquility. Can you see the uh, fracture patterns going across the uh, Mari in front of us now, Houston? Now you better stop the roll. Okay. Stop the roll. Right here is a series of uh, cracks or faults across the, uh, the middle of the Mari. Uh, they drop down in about three steps uh, to the south. The uh, parallel fault pattern to the north has a drop down in the center. I think you may be going too far now, Jim. Too far which way? Yawing a little bit too far left. Yawing too yeah, far left? Yeah, once right you right away. Yeah, we, we want to. Yeah, all right. Or else you may just, if you want to keep going, I'll put it out this way. That's fine, though. That's fine, though. You want to give it to? <laughs> now, that crater right out there is, uh, the nice raw one is, uh, well, they keep praying that the other. I hope that all of you back on Earth can see what we mean when we say it's a rather foreboding horizon, a rather, rather dark, dark and uh, unappetizing. Is our landing site we're going over now? Yeah, this is our landing site right down here. We're now going over our approaching, one, landing site. approaching one of our future landing sites right uh, selected in this smooth region called the to Sea of Tranquility. Called the sea of tranquility. Uh, smooth in order to make it easy for the uh, initial landing attempt in order to uh, preclude uh, having to dodge mountains. Now you can see the uh, long shadows of the lunar su sunrise. Hey, why don't you start yeah. reading that thing and then that would be a good place to end it. Well, we've got to go into it very nicely. Why don't we, just, we go into the sunset? Right. Or is this sunrise? This is sunrise, yeah. We are approaching lunar sunrise. We are uh, now approaching uh, lunar sunrise, and uh, for all the people back on Earth, the crew of Apollo 8 has a message that we would like to send to you. In the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth, and the earth was without form and void, and darkness was upon the face of the deep, and the Spirit of God moved upon the face of the waters. And God said, let there be light. And there was light. And God saw the light, that it was good. And God divided the light from the darkness. You got it, Frank. Oh. And God called the light day. And the darkness he called night. And the evening and the morning were the first day. And God said, let there be a firmament in the midst of the waters and let it divide the waters from the waters. And God made the firmament, and divided the waters which were under the firmament from the waters which were above the firmament. And it was so. And God called the firmament heaven, and the evening and the morning was the second day. Can you hold the camera? Yeah, pass it over here, Jim. Oh, that's that, perfect, right where it is. Okay. And God said, let the waters under the heaven be gathered together into one place and let the dry land appear, and it was so. And God called the dry land earth, and the gathering together of the waters called he seas, and God saw that it was good. 
and from the crew of Apollo 8, we close with good night, good luck, a Merry Christmas, and God bless all of you, all of you on the good earth. That's it. Don't see any more now. I just turned it off. You want it on again? Yeah, no, leave it off. Great. Great. Off? Yeah. Okay. Camera's off. Yep. Hey, how, how can you beat that? Jeez, we just went into the Terminator right in time. Okay, let's get the spacecraft back and even kill you. Yeah. Here, here's this thing. Okay, man. It's 86 hours. Houston, how do you read Apollo 8? Okay. Now, uh, Ken, we'd like to get all squared away for TEI here. Can you uh, give us some good words like you promised? 